top 10 causes of high blood pressure and how to get rid of them without medication. Taking medication has not always been the smartest solution out there to fight high blood pressure. Okay, let me roll out the facts. To fight high blood pressure, you have to be aware about the major causes behind it. Once you know the underlying causes of high blood pressure, you are almost there to confidently combat it. Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. We all know that high blood pressure has become one of the very widespread health problems. According to reports by American Health Association, one of three Americans has high blood pressure complications. So, this is the high time to go a step ahead to know the causes which accelerate high blood pressure. In this video, we are going to dive deep to trace the most common causes behind high blood pressure and how to get rid of them gradually without medication. Later, we have put some effective tips and a magic recipe in place that can help control high blood pressure. Before getting into the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell and watch the video until the end. Let's start with the causes. The first one is age. It is evident from a number of research findings that with growing age, the risk of high blood pressure increases. It is mentioned that about 33% of the people who are above the age of 40 have high blood pressure. And about a whopping 71% of the people who are above the age of 60 have hypertension. So when your age is around 40 and above and you have a family history, then you are potentially exposed to high blood pressure. The second one is smoking. Smoking, in almost every consideration, triggers high blood pressure. Apart from that, exposure to secondhand smoke can also lead to hypertension. Smoking increases the buildup of fatty substance that ultimately causes high blood pressure. The third one is genetics and family history. When members of a family pass traits from one generation to another through genes, that process is called heredity. We may come from a long line of heart patients with a history of hypertension, heart attacks, and strokes. That makes us more vulnerable to high blood pressure. The combination of family history with unhealthy lifestyle will put the person in a danger zone. The fourth reason is alcohol. Drinking alcohol once in a while might not be that much harmful. But to be honest, regular drinking will damage your heart, liver, and arteries and eventually will cause high blood pressure. Alcohol is both toxic and acidic, which is very harmful for our body. Number five is being overweight. Being overweight is interlinked with high cholesterol level. It is said that more than 50% of people who suffer from high blood pressure seem to have high cholesterol levels as well. Because the extra fat accumulates and hinders regular blood flow. It depends much on the type of fat as well. Actually, saturated fats and trans fats, which are common in animal sources and processed foods, are the possible factors. The sixth reason is a high amount of salt intake. Regular table salt or salt used in processed foods such as tasting salt is very harmful. Sodium is found mainly in processed foods, anything that comes in a package, can, or especially from a fast food restaurant. Still, a high level of salt and fats in our diets leads to a high risk of hypertension. The seventh reason is stress. It is almost usual to face a certain level of stress in life. But inviting regular stress will eventually end up becoming a patient of high blood pressure. So what matters most is how smartly you deal with it. Number eight is inactivity. It is normal that we end up sitting a better part of our day. This inactivity will cause high blood pressure as inactivity restricts the amount of movement our body requires. This in turn accumulates fat and moreover, makes the body lethargic. The penultimate one is diabetes. People who have diabetes are way more prone to develop hypertension. For type 1 diabetes, controlling the blood sugar level with exercise, medication, and insulin can help reduce the risk of developing hypertension. On the other hand, people with type 2 diabetes are at risk of developing hypertension due to factors like high blood sugar, medications, and cardiovascular diseases. The final one is medication. Many heart medications can do more harm than good in the long term. 
They can increase your blood sugar, cholesterol, or blood pressure levels. Also, they put extra stress on our liver and kidneys. So, if you are highly dependent on medication to get rid of heart-related problems, then you should think twice and consult a doctor about the side effects. Before telling you the super solutions and the recipe to get rid of high blood pressure, there are other causes of high blood pressure, like chronic kidney diseases, adrenal, and thyroid disorders. Okay, to be honest, lifestyle changes will do the biggest job for you. I mean, you have to take control of yourself. You have to do exercise on a daily basis, a healthy diet, proper sleep routine, and relaxation techniques like yoga, meditation, and guided breathing can be very useful. Before everything else, a healthy diet is necessary, which is also low in salt. Foods that can control blood pressure include leafy greens, seeds, garlic, berries, oatmeal, bananas, pistachios, olive oil. You can incorporate these ingredients in your everyday diet in various ways. According to research, DASH diet shows that eating at least nine servings of fruits and vegetables each day can reduce blood pressure about as much as medication. If you're eating more fruits and vegetables, you're already taking a positive step towards reducing salt because they're naturally low in sodium. Natural salt types, such as Celtic sea salt or Himalayan rock, are good for you. To get rid of high blood pressure, you can start your day with a green juice. A concoction of half a cucumber, two handfuls of mint leaves, and some coconut water can be a good way to reduce your blood pressure. Oatmeal is another popular breakfast item for blood pressure patients. Oatmeal can be prepared in various ways. It is high in dietary fibers and keeps us full for a longer time. But the proper way of preparing, and one of the simplest ways, is to soak a half cup of rolled oats in a half cup of nut milk and leave overnight. In the morning, you have to just add fruits such as banana, berries, apples, and cinnamon to taste. You can try this drink recipe too. So, for one glass of servings, you just need one tablespoon of beetroot powder. One glass of water, one quarter carrot juice low sodium, one half cup tomato juice low sodium, one teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, one eighth celery seed, one eighth teaspoon ginger fresh minced or diced, one ounce lime juice, three to four ice cubes, not mandatory. Instructions At first, combine the beetroot powder and water in a measuring cup and mix well. Then, add the carrot juice, tomato juice, Worcestershire sauce, celery seed, and ginger and mix well. Afterwards, add the lime juice, pour the mixture into a glass, and serve. If you want, you can add ice, although it's not mandatory. You can take this drink daily as your afternoon snack. So, that's it. By the way, you will find some smoothie recipes about high blood pressure on this channel. Don't forget to check your blood pressure level weekly and take food according to the result. So, that's all for now. You have to take ownership of your heart health. It will save you at the end of the day. So don't forget to consult with your nearby doctor. By the way, for more queries, I've also added some studies at the end of this video description. Let us know in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for the next videos. And don't forget to like, comment, and share. Stay healthy. Stay fine.